Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss about the concept of Six Sigma. Now, this concept is used by companies ensuring that 99.997% of their products are non-defective and are according to the customer's expectations. The 99.997% is decided using the normal distribution Let us understand it with the help of an illustration. Suppose a company produces 50,000 bells of diameter 2 inches. Now the manufacturer wants to know whether the bells produced by his company are according to the specified measurements or not. He decides if the production is according to the given specifications, then he will accept the lot produced, otherwise he will reject the lot. Now, the question arises, how will we decide whether to accept it or reject it? For this, he uses the statistical method He selects randomly a sample of 50 bells then he measures the diameter of each bell in the sample and moves down the wheels. Now since he has specified that the bells should be of diameter 2 inches, so he expects that the size of bells should be 2 inches, but he finds that most of the bells are not exactly of diameter 2 inches. Some of them are having diameter more than 2 inches and some are having less than 2 inches. So he decides a tolerance level that is he specifies the limits of the diameter. He decides that the size of bell should not exceed 2.06 inches and should not be less than 1.94 inches if 99.997% of bells lie within the given limits he will accept the lot otherwise he will reject the lot now he constructs a histogram for the recorded readings which gives a normal distribution. Now, mean of the sample is equal to 2 and let the standard deviation be 0.01. So, this is a normal curve with mean 2 and standard deviation sigma is equal to 0.01. Now here, on right side of the mean, we have marked the values as x bar plus sigma, x bar plus 2 sigma, x bar plus 3 sigma, x bar plus 4 sigma, x bar plus 5 sigma, then x bar plus 6 sigma. Similarly, on left side of the mean, we have marked the value as 
x bar minus sigma, x bar minus 2 sigma, x bar minus 3 sigma, x bar minus 4 sigma, x bar minus 5 sigma, then x bar minus 6 sigma. So here 1.94 is the minimum value and 2.06 is the maximum value. Now if 68% balls are within the limit then the level is 2 sigma if 99.4% balls are within the limit, then the level is 4 sigma. And if 99.997% balls are within the limit, then the level is 6 sigma. Now see, x bar plus 6 sigma gives upper limit decided by the manufacturer that is 2.06 and x bar minus 6 sigma gives lower limit that is 1.94 from the graph we see that most of the values are within the required limits and very few values are outside the required limit so, he accepts the lot of 50,000 bolts produced by the company So, this is the basic concept of 6 sigma and this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.